Hello all, this is Alexander Rubenstein reporting for RT America. Uh, I'm out here at an anti-Trump protest outside the Deplora Ball. It's an inaugural ball for Donald Trump um, held by members of the alt-right. Prominent members of the alt-right uh, are inside and there's a massive crowd out here as you can see. Uh, there was Things were quite chaotic earlier. Uh, Police uh, used uh, pepper spray on a legal observer that I noticed. I spoke with her a little bit earlier. Uh, and uh, there were explosives thrown at police. There was a, a bike thrown at police, uh, one of their bikes, uh, that started leaking. Uh, there were signs thrown. Uh, water uh, water uh, balloons were thrown, uh, etc. Uh, and uh, I actually got my head shoved against the camera. Uh, by the police when I was uh, closer to the front of this, closer to the building here. Uh, and uh, later on, uh, somebody threw uh, what seems to me to be a uh, mace grenade of some kind. It exploded and created a giant gas cloud. It was about a few feet from me, and I had to uh, put my scarf over my face and run out as quick as I could. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, again, we're outside the National Press Club where there is the uh, inaugurational ball called the Deplora Ball held by prominent members of the alt-right. As you can see, things have calmed down quite a bit. So the police aren't letting people onto the sidewalk. I spoke to uh, some girl that witnessed what happened. She said that uh, what happened was somebody threw a police bike at them and it started leaking and created a gas situation. So uh, so that's why they're not letting anyone onto the sidewalk. They're very vigilant. Uh, they've been doing quite a bit of pushing anyone that goes uh, too close. Let's walk around here and see if we can talk to somebody. Ma'am, could you hold up your sign for me? So it says, no Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. That's a, that's a very popular chant uh, these days. And as you can see, there is a swastika in his mouth. Are you guys with a group? I'm with uh, refusefascism.org. OK, great. And uh, I'm with J Disrupt J20. Disrupt J20. OK, thank you, guys. So yeah, there's a lot of different groups here. Uh, Disrupt J20 is a coalition of local groups. Uh, it's a coalition of local groups that uh, are organizing around uh, Donald Trump's inauguration by uh, trying to cause as many disruptions tomorrow as possible. We're going to be live there tomorrow as the disruptions are going on, so I ask you to please tune in and continue to share. Uh, I know it looks uh, a little bit quiet here, but indeed it was very chaotic earlier. some Donald Trump supporters out here earlier too. Um, I'm not sure if they were with the ball because they were a bit underdressed for it, but uh, you know, it wasn't just protesters. I, th I think that some of the uh, Trump supporters uh, came out to see what was going on uh, and maybe, maybe try to uh, talk to the protesters and convince them of, of, of whatever, whatever it is that they, that they think. see there's a lot of people here wearing masks. People are doing that so that they can't be identified uh, by police if, if they commit sin. There's another helicopter. No KKK, no fascist USA! No KKK, no fascist USA! No KKK, no fascist USA! here. Yeah, about 
three feet of me and I had uh, to breathe, uh, I had to put my scarf over my face and run off. And this guy's praising it. Did burn it? Something to it. Guess it's a big Trump flag. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this Oh, I guess uh, I just heard that. Uh... As you can see, uh, these people are coming out of the deplorable and protesters are confronting them. This is what democracy looks like!